Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Guess what? I have no makeup today and I'm not doing skincare. That means we are doing, ta-da, highly anticipated foundation demo by La Brie. Oh my god. OMG, and this is everybody's talking about. I get a lot of people email me, want me to do a review. So we're gonna do this, the first impression on my skin. And let's get started and see if this is worth it for $195. Okay, you hear me correctly. This is $195 for this foundation. And I gotta tell you, I think this is by far the most expensive foundation I ever bought before. It's a little bit crazy. I wasn't gonna spend that kind of money, but got a lot of you guys asked me. So I said, you know what? Let's bite the bullet and just get it. So um, the uh, it's a very... Um, Expensive, I think, honestly. So this is the uh, Skin Caviar Essence in Foundations, infused with a caviar water. Caviar is one of the key ingredients for La Pori skincare, and it's a very luxury, very exp expensive skincare brand. So this foundation is actually a skincare benefits with SPF 25, and it's the hottest thing on the market right now. So we're gonna do a little unboxing together. When you first purchase this, it comes a really big box. And just like any product on La Pori, they all have the silver packaging like this. Oh, so pretty. And let's see why it costs $195. It's a crazy, I honestly think it's a little expensive. So you open it, it's a very nice La Pori logo, Switzerland. And when you open it, it looks like this. So this is the actual uh, foundation compact, and this is the refill. So it's for one ninety five, you get uh, one refill too. So it's so it's not too terrible. And then this is the compact. Let me tell you, this not only is I think the most expensive, is the biggest compact I bought for foundations. And at first I thought it's a cushion makeup. Cushion makeup is the sponge style makeup, but it's actually not exactly. I'm going to show you that. Um, but I'm going to show you that this is a refill, okay? And let me show you, the refill comes like this way. You open it, there's the, uh, the, uh, there's the sponge, it looks like that. It's quite weird though, it looks like this, this is the re refill. See, there's no cover on top, um, so this is the actual foundation. Interesting. Uh, oh, what's in here? For $195. Oh, I get a pouch. Okay. <laughs> this is terrible. So there's a velvet pouch right here. So let me show you guys a little bit. And you can actually put this in here. So fancy. But so not user friendly. I'm not telling this right now. Who's going to carry this huge makeup in the bag? So I think it's a little bit too big in terms of the packaging. Um, just, just saying that, okay? But it's more something like use at home. Okay, so this is a compact, it's a very standard collaborative skincare. The basic color is silver and blue, and the key ingredient is caviar. So let me show you that when you open the when you open the cap, it's like this, and then immediately there's a foundation here, the sponge. It has a little clear back, clear plastic, so you can put this between the sponge. First thing I gotta tell you this that the design I am not too crazy. The reason why is that I know that you need to press down to get the foundations. But then when you press down and then you put a sponge over it, then the sponge is constantly touch the makeup. And then when your sponge touch the skin, they contain bacteria. Even though everyone say that the sponge, the micro sponge like this kills bacteria or or has a resistance to it, I still think that I I rather have this have a separate layer. So I think um, not to bad mouth this product already, um, I would like to see they have a cover, just like any other uh, cushion foundation. So there's a divider in between. Because seriously, this thing is gonna get lost like within a week for me. So oh wait, the color I'm purchased is the uh, Cram Patch. Let me show you guys. I can't even say that properly. Cram Patch. It's N Tent. 
and it's mainly in Italy. And in case you want to know, the size is a 0.5 ounce, so it's uh, aligned with any other foundation sizes. Let's say you're gonna hear a little clip, so let's hear you hear that. That's one time, nothing. Two time. Oh, oh, something is here. Oh, what's this? So it's coming out like this now. Okay, so I'm gonna press one more time. It's a little flower. I want to just apply this on the skin. I am not sure if this is the right color. I tried in the store, but it just, you know, not really. Oh, did you see it covers in my uh, my imperfections? Oh, let me see the mirror. Huh. It has a very light caviar scent, which I like that. If you use a lot of makeup or skincare, you know that their caviar is a very rich smell and sometimes a little bit too heavy. The coverage, they say, is light to medium, but it's a little bit light, I think, for my skin tone. But I think I can get away from this because I do have a light complexion. And it doesn't feel sticky or anything like that. Um, it's not giving it's not giving me that super uh, glowing looking. It's more like a natural finish on my skin. So this is me without no makeup. This is me with the caviar. You know I can't tell. I think it's a little too light. Great. I spend the one ninety five and get a too light foundation. I wonder can I exchange this? Hmm. I think it's too light. But either way, let's forget about the color. Let's just look at the um, the texture of the makeup. So let's ignore the color right now. You can see that this is, I have some imperfections on my skin and it really covered it really well though. It doesn't give you that super glowing look. So I think it's not too bad. Honestly, you guys see my, my facial expressions. I, <laughs> the color is not matching me. I don't, I think it's too light. Uh, but I think for 195, what do you think, guys? I'm very confused. Huh? Okay, let's try this right here. My conclusion for this is I don't know if I love this or not. I definitely think for 195 dollars, it's a lot of money, and I tried a lot of cushion makeup before. Um, they usually cost 70 dollars, 80 dollars, and they are good as this. Uh, it does give a very natural finish. Um, some cushion makeup make your skin look super dewy. This one, not bad. But I, I think it's hard to tell. I think it's a little too light though. So I think I might get a darker colors. I don't know, a little too light. Anyway, so uh, sorry about it, guys because um, this is a true experience that you know I have not really tried this. I bought this on. Uh, in the store, but they sold out, and um, we tried to test it, but it's so hard to see it because they only have a little bit left. And uh, this is the this is the color I got, so I don't know if I love it, but I think my instant is I should get a little bit darker color. Um, this foundation comes with. Let me see how many color they come with. Hold please. The foundation comes with six different colors, so there's six different color you can pick from. So. So now the makeup has been on my skin for about five minutes after I first applied this. I think it works fine, uh, but I think for 195, it's a lot of money. And um, if you ask my opinion, do you need to buy this? My opinion for you is, if you love La Pere, you're always buying expensive stuff. Yeah, why not? But if you never try very expensive skincare and you really you hear a lot of hype about this, then I'll probably tell you don't buy it because 195 it is a lot for the makeup like that. I know there's a lot of skincare benefits inside, but I can get that from the skincare I bought from La Pore instead of makeup. And the other thing I have to say is you know how much packaging is important to me. Look at how many fingerprints on here. It's my first time using this. So um, <laughs> It gets a lot of fingerprint, and I personally don't like that. Not only the surface get fingerprint, even the base get fingerprints. I don't know, can you see it? So um, I, I I hate to tell you guys this, I'll probably say no to La Pere Foundation. Yeah, no, not for one ninety five. I am so sorry to tell you this. I think you can spend money to get something better than this.
something you guys should know this that when at least for me when I trying something new the first time and if I don't like it my expression was like mm, I don't know you know I, I'm I'm not acting I'm really not because I feel like if I spend it that much money I really want to feel like wow this is the best like when I'm doing Louis Vuitton or Chanel or some other uh, makeup brand but for 195 I really think is um it was okay, I mean honestly. So that's my feedback. And hopefully I will not offend anyone out there. I don't I don't want people to get upset with me, you know. So I wanna say thank you so much for all your support for my uh, brand, uh, Mr. Genoin One, and on YouTube, obviously. And if you like the video, actually you should subscribe my video, give a thumbs up, subscribe, and share my video. And uh, we are growing every single day. And thank you so much for your support. That means a lot to me. And we have a lot of new program coming up very soon. And I hope that you're gonna love it. And um, leave a comment below. If you have any feedback, suggestions, feel free, welcome to share. And remember, Mr. Jin Only One is the place that we share the fashion, the travel, the beauty, all together. It's an environment that we can all share and reapply. Don't feel like you cannot tell me anything on my on my social media period i love to hear from you guys so at the end i want to say thank you so much again and don't forget to follow my social media right over here and i will see you guys next week bye